Hello everyone, in this lecture the topic, subordination, is explained in detail with understandable examples. But if you are new to my channel then please like and subscribe the channel. It can be defined as Subordination is a grammatical relationship between clauses where one clause functions as a part of speech within another clause. What does it mean? Simply, it means that in syntax subordination refers to a clause which functions as a part of speech within another clause. Basically, a clause which functions as a part of speech within another clause is called a subordinate clause. So, this process is known as subordination in syntax. You should also keep in mind that a subordinate clause will be dependent, by dependent I mean which will not be able to stand alone as a simple sentence. And it will depend on another clause which is called independent clause or main clause. This main is the opposite of dependent clause because it will stand alone as a sentence. Just look at these examples. I believe that she will succeed. Observe this sentence. The group of words, that she will succeed, is the subordinate clause and it functions as a noun. Basically, as we have said in a definition that a subordinate clause will function as part of speech. So, this group of words functions as a noun in this sentence. As you know that a noun is a part of speech. So, this subordinate clause plays the role of a single noun or it functions as a noun. And you should also remember that a noun can be an object of the sentence. So, this subordinate clause functions as the object of this sentence. So, this is called subordination in syntax. The man who is wearing a red hat is my friend. Look at this example, the group of words, who is wearing a red hat, is a subordinate clause. But this subordinate clause functions as an adjective. And as you know that adjective is a part of speech. So, this group of words functions as adjective because it modifies the subject, the man. This group of words cannot stand alone as a sentence. If you put aside it from this sentence, so it cannot stand alone. So, this plays the role of an adjective. So, this is also known as a subordination. I will call you after I finish my work. Well, analyze this example, the group of words, after I finish my work, is a subordinate clause. And it plays the function of an adverb. As you know adverb is also a part of speech. So, this group of words also functions as an adverb because it answers us this question. When will I call you? The answer is, after I finish my work. So, you can see it functions as an adverb. So, this is also subordination. Well, if you have enjoyed this lecture then please don't forget like and subscription to the channel. Thank you.